Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here with a video today. Bit of a strange one. Been going live over the last few weeks. Or the, sorry, the last week or so with Stockport County. Uh, match reaction and, of uh, course, match previews as well. Which, if people are enjoying that, hopefully uh, hopefully you are. It will be con uh, coming back on Saturday where we'll have uh, the uh, pre-match coverage. Uh, an hour ahead of kickoff for Saturday's game against uh, MK Dons. Uh, very much looking forward to that. But back to the topic today then, which is England, which does have a little bit of a reference to Stockport in. And that's because Kobe Mainu, born in Stockport, from Stockport, has been called up to the England senior squad for the uh, games in March. So my opinion on this is Kobe Mainu should be in this England team. I did a video on it about a month ago. And I think that Kobe Mainu is very much ready for the call-up for England. I think some people have said it may be too soon. But for me, I think he's been absolutely sensational this season. 20 appearances in the first team for Manchester United this season. Just the two goals and zero assists. But his performances on the ball have been absolutely phenomenal and off the ball as well defensively. This is a really, really interesting player uh, that, we, that Manchester United have on, the, you know, have on our hands. And now that England have on their hands, I think he's a really, really... A mature player for his age and technical ability is unbelievable and we've seen glimpses of it this season already and of course that shone against Liverpool on Sunday with Sunday footwork that uh, you know he possesses the ability to go past two or three players which he showed um, on prime display against Liverpool on Sunday in that FA Cup quarter final game at Old Trafford uh, for me he's just a superb player uh, as I say for a player of his age 18 years of age to have the maturity the confidence the technical ability, all those things that he possesses at such a young age uh, in a Manchester side, which is a you know a struggling Manchester uh, side this season, let's be honest about it. He's gone into that side and made it look really, really solid. And there's a few players this season that, you know, I think a Cole Palmer at Chelsea. He, you know, Chelsea are a really difficult team at the moment, really, really awkward for them. And Cole Palmer is shining in that, man, uh, that Chelsea side. That is a, that's a sign of a quality player, a player that can shine in a difficult, uh, you know, in a team that's in a difficult period of time. And that's exactly what Kobe Mainu is doing at Manchester United, amongst others, because there's people like Ganacho who are also doing the same thing. They're almost dragging Manchester United up a little bit at the moment. But, but you know, Kobe Mainu is a massive part of that. And as I say, this call up to the England squad, I think it's deserved. But my, my only problem with this is that Gareth Southgate, just a week ago, when he announced the squad, didn't have Kobe Mainu in it. So the fact that he's now sort of changed his mind and brought him in, I think that says a lot about, you know, Gareth Southgate's decision making, to be honest. You know, some people would be confused, you know, you think that Kobe Mainu should be in this England squad, he's now in the England squad, what's your issue with it? Well, the issue for me is that I think it's another sign of Gareth Southgate's incompetence as an England manager, as a manager full stop, the inability to make a decision and stick with it. At the end of the day, I think most people thought that he was wrong to leave Kobe Mainu out of the squad last week, but to now go back on it based on a good performance against Liverpool and bring him in, I mean... Kobe Mainu shouldn't be in this England squad because he played well against Liverpool on Sunday. Kobe Mainu should be part of this England squad because since November, when he came into the side for Manchester United, he has been a solid 7 out of 10 week in, week out. And that's a lot to ask for to be that consistent at such a young age as well. Because, and I've said it many times, young players often offer um, inconsistency because it takes time to get to a consistent uh, level of performance. And Kobe Mainu has been very, very consistent since he's been in the, you know, this Manchester United side. And that's why I believe he should be in the England squad. But Gareth Southgate, and look, we've got the quotes here as well. He obviously didn't think he should be in this England squad a week ago, but now suddenly thinks he's good enough to be in this England squad. Let's just have a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit of a look back of what Gareth Southgate had to say about Kobe Mainu last week when he wasn't in England squad. I think Kobe is doing brilliantly for a young player, said Southgate. We're never slow to put a young player into the seniors, but he's only had a handful of games. He's played one more game, let's be honest about it. Look, I don't want to keep him up to this when I'm trying to read out what he said, but he's played one more game since then. So, only played a handful of games last week. Now he's played an extra game. Suddenly, now he's deserving of being in the squad, in Southgate's logic. I'm not too sure about that. Make your own mind up about that. You have to be careful in making those decisions at the right time, and ideally... We should allow him uh, the space to develop at his own speed. I mean, it's literally been less than a week or around about a week since he uh, called that squad. What was it last Wednesday, Tuesday? Now he's back in the, you know, not back in, but back, you know, in for the first time. I can't understand Southgate here, and I think this decision to bring him into the fold, whilst it's the right decision, 
it just shows just just how incompetent it, you know Southgate is as a manager and just how inconsistent uh, how incons- how inconsistent he is as an England manager. And we've spoke about the fact that you know there is no consistency in his logic. He'll say that players aren't performing well, they're not getting enough game time, but then others will be in the side uh, time and time again. There were times when Harry Maguire was being picked when he wasn't in the squad. Let's be honest as well, Harry Maguire hasn't exactly been playing week in, week out for Manchester United. But again, he rolls up in that England squad. Now, I'm tired of saying that Maguire shouldn't be in the England squad because... We've been going about it for years now at this point where he hasn't been deserving of being in the squad, but he still gets picked. I think this time the media aren't even questioning it because they're just so used to it. But that's another example of a player that isn't getting game time and is still in the squad. And Calvin Phillips isn't in this squad, rightly so. But the reason why Calvin Phillips isn't in, the, uh, isn't in this squad is because Southgate said that he's not performing well and it, you know he's, getting, he's not getting enough game time. That's exactly the case with so many of the uh, so many of these other players though that get in the England squad. So for me, this decision for me needs to be brought into the England squad, just exposes Gareth Southgate even more as an England manager. And look, I think we've got a brilliant set of players. I think that the expectation will be high this summer. And I think that Gareth Southgate has got to reach the final minimum. I'm not saying we should necessarily win the tournament right now because there are teams like France who are a lot stronger than us. But seeing as we reached the final of the Euros a few years ago, and we reached that World Cup semi-final in 2018, and we should have probably got to the semi-final of the World Cup two years ago. I'm expecting a lot of things from this England side on the Gareth Southgate in the summer, and if he doesn't deliver, uh, I think he, you know, his job should be uh, in question. And I think decisions like this today, I, th- I think that doesn't fill me with much confidence that Southgate's going to get the job done in the summer, to be honest. But yeah, I just want to you know, get, get people's thoughts on this. What's your opinion on Kobe Mainu? Not been in the squad a week ago, but now suddenly brought in. Do you think Kobe Mainu should have been put in the squad last week? And how, what is your reaction? What's your response to him now being part of the England squad for these friendlies coming up uh, at the end of March? For me, I think it's brilliant. I think you know, I think he is a really brilliant player. And I do think he should be in this squad. But I don't really understand Gareth Southgate's logic on it. And I think this is what this video is about. Should, he, should Kobe Mainu be in the England squad for the, for the March friendlies? Not necessarily the Euro squad, but for the March friendlies? 100%. But I don't understand Gareth Southgate's logic to leave him out last week. He's played one game more since then and now suddenly he's in. If he's brought him in based on that performance against Liverpool, then it's absolutely ridiculous because that performance against Liverpool, he's done that already this season. He played really well at Anfield away. He's played really well at Goodison Park away. I remember when he cleared the ball off the line in that game against Everton, for example. Obviously, that game against Wolves where he scored the winner. You know, we, We've seen so many moments already for Kobe Mainu where He's shown his quality. So if he's only in this squad because of what he did against Liverpool at Old Trafford on uh, on Sunday, that's absolutely ridiculous. I think just before we end this video as well, I just kind of want to discuss what kind of a role do you think uh, Kobe Maynard will have in this England squad? Because a lot of people have been talking about him as if he's a number six, a holding midfielder, and look for a long time... Uh, well, I say a long time. He's only been in the squad for four or five months for Manchester United. But maybe the first few months I thought... OK, this is a really good sitting midfielder we've got on our hands. Casemiro's getting on. You know, he's not getting any younger. We're going to have to find a replacement. There's your replacement in Kobe Mainu. However, you know, over the last few months, we've seen a, you know, we've seen a player in Kobe Mainu which is a lot better going forward as well. And I think what we've got on our hands here is an unbelievable box-to-box midfielder in the future for England and for Manchester United, hopefully. And this idea that he'll be a sitting midfielder, he can do a sitting midfield job, but he's not a sitting midfielder. And we've seen that, that you know, when it, when he enjoys going forward, taking players on, he's got the skill to do that. He's got the touch and ability to be able to do that. And he can score goals as well, as we saw against Wolves uh, already this season. So for me, Kobe Mainu, he's, a, he's an attack-minded player as much as, you know, he is defensive. He's a box-to-box, he's all-in-one action midfielder. He's not going to be that sitting midfielder. He can do that job, but that's not primarily his role. So if you know if England are bringing him in thinking he can play as a sitting midfielder, you're not getting the best out of Kobe Mainu in that position. And for me, he's another box-to-box midfielder. We've got Jude Bellingham, we've got Declan Rice, and we've got Kobe Mainu. Now out of them three, Declan Rice is probably better at sitting than all of them three. But what I'm saying is we've got three players in midfield who are all box-to-box, all all-action midfielders. And I think that, you know, whilst... Whilst uh, you know Kobe Menu should be in this England squad, I do think it also brings another dilemma now for Gareth Southgate of who starts in that midfield because we've got a lot of things that you know you know a lot of options in that midfield area now. We've got box to box midfielders, we've got attacking midfielders like Madison and Phil Foden, but we haven't got that defensive midfielder you know for me that can sit back, dictate tempo, recycle possession, and as I say, hold and glue that team together. So I think that's the problem for England, uh, and I think we'll see you know it'll be interesting to see how Southgate 
manages to get around that with the uh, obviously the friendlies coming up. What is it? Brazil and Belgium coming up in the March international break. Be interesting to see if uh, Gareth Southgate can identify his city midfielder, which will obviously give us a bit of an idea and a bit of a, a, a sort of a, a preview of what we may see in the Euros. But yeah, it's going to be massively interesting to see how Gareth Southgate picks uh, these sides in these two warm-up games, of course, ahead of the Euros. And I'm excited to see Kobe Maynou in the England squad, you know, of course, from Stockport. I take a lot of pride in that as well, having been someone who's also from Stockport. So a lot of pride in Kobe Maynou getting his first England call-up. I think it should have happened anyway. Um, and obviously Gareth Southgate has given in to the, the uh, claims, I suppose, for Kobe Maynou to be in this side. And it'll be interesting to see how he does, if he gets any minutes, if he starts any of the games. I'm excited to see. And it's given me a reason to watch the international break, to be honest, because I had no interest really in watching uh, the England friendlies and now I now I may just have a reason to so I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to seeing how well Kobe does of course alongside Phil Foden who's also from Stockport as well uh, so two lads from Stockport in that England squad now exciting to see how he brings him into the squad I'm looking forward to it so I suppose I'm going to get your thoughts on Kobe Maynou do you think he should be in the England squad what are your thoughts on Gareth Southgate backtracking to bring him in and uh, do you think he'll start and have a good performance? How well do you think he'll fit into the England side? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video as well. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I hope, you've, uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.